Hey everybody! Um, thanks for pushing, thanks for clicking to watch. I sure do appreciate it. Um, it's that time of the month when we are going to do the uh, salt of the month and the soap of the month unboxings. We'll start with soap of the month. By the way, I'm wearing my Corona, my, well I shouldn't call them Corona purchases. I'm wearing my quarantine purchases. These, these Cosmic Fabulosity earrings, um, I think she calls herself Best Girl 1000 on Instagram. I love these. I know, I know. I should be wearing pearls or something a little more subtly elegant in the middle of a pandemic, I'm wearing what I want. And I wanted these and I got them. I also got this on ASOS because, you know, they keep sending me sale labs. <laughs> so anyway, um, I'm living my best life today and I'm going to show you. I know that I'm late doing these, um, these, these unboxings. I'm like almost a week late, but I don't want to give you an excuse. I'm claiming it. promise I'm going to do better next time. So here we go. We'll start with soap of the month first. Um, soap of the month this month. We, first of all, soap of the month, really quickly, subscription service that I do. Um, you get a bar of soap, handmade soap, made by little old me. Um, you get a bar of soap and you get a little special extra. And the special extra could be like another beauty product or a little, just something I think that's groovy. And uh, I'll stick it, in the, stick it in the pouch and, and send it off. You get a little, um, I don't know if you can see this, you get a little uh, letter, that's my little mermaid. She's fabulous. Um, tells you about everything you got in your pouch, or your pack, or your bag, or your sack, or whatever you want to call it. Um, tells you everything that's in it, all the ingredients, what things are good for, and all about your special extra. And usually, you know, I talk a lot. Who, who would have thought that, right? So, um, this month's soap is Blueberry Time. And I don't know if you can see it, but I'm gonna tell you something. That, look, finger guns, never, never gonna get old for me, I don't think. Um, this soap is um, the personification or the, or the saponification of not getting, not getting ready. Like, this is one of those things that I did I got the scent in, I was like, oh my God, I gotta go make soap now, and I ran across the street. This is what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make this. And I, I tried to do a gradient and a cocoa line, and I'm gonna tell you something, this, smoke, this soap smells fabulous, and it's ugly. It's an ugly stepsister, I'll show it to you. Um, you can see, it's just not a pretty soap. <laughs> I did this on a slant, I made a cocoa line, the cocoa got everywhere, so it's like, brown smudgy goodness everywhere. Um, I tried to do a gradient. My soap batter got thick fast. I, and you know, there's bubbles in it. Not, not the best soap on the planet. It's still a really great soap, just not the prettiest. So I tried to pipe a little dew blobby on here and put a little melt and pour uh, blueberry on it just to, you know, put earrings on a pig. But there it is. Um, always, always get ready for it. Always make sure you know what you want to do. This was not what I had in mind for this month's soap. I got this fragrance and it was like snifferific. Let's go do it. So next month's soap, you know it's gonna be fabulous. So this is this will still this will still be really great and scrubby. So you're you're gonna love that. Um so your special extra, the first special extra, I threw in another soap net. Um soap nets. You can get these online or whatever. You, you could probably make a soap net. Heck, I don't know. I buy them because I know where to buy them. But you just you, you just put your little soap in here and um, leave it in there. And then you can scrub with it. It's like a really great exfoliator. And then you hang it on your faucet or whatever to dry. Um, so your soap lasts longer. So your soap doesn't get all mushy and gross and it lasts a little bit longer. So keeping handmade soap, because people, people used to say to me all the time, I love handmade soap, but it doesn't last a week. No, it does. But you can't leave it to melt 
on the side of your tub or your shower, you have to uh, give it a chance to dry. And this soap net really scrubs you good, scrubs you like your mama did, and keeps your soap dry. Keeps it dry and, and lasts longer. That's one of your special extras. The second special extra, now look, if you're, if you're not a soap of the month or and you're watching this, you're going, oh hey, two special extras. That only happens like once or twice a year. So this is the actual special extra. We always do, do one of these in July because mine gets ratty at the bottom after about six months. So I figure everybody else's does too. So I just chuck another one in there. This little do lolly is your special extra. Um, in Georgia, we have gnats. I don't care who you are, what you believe, how clean your house is, you're gonna have a gnat. You get produce, you're gonna have a gnat. You cannot go to the farmer's market and bring anything home or you're gonna have gnats. <laughs> um, like so bad, like seriously, what, one year we had them so bad that we just kept the vacuum cleaner in the kitchen and every time like we'd have a gnat, we'd just suck it up in the vacuum cleaner. It was bad. It was really bad and you know, you can't sit outside. Like if I'm sitting outside with my cup of tea or this is Diet Dr. Pepper, um, if I'm sitting outside with my cup of whatever I have, um, there's a 98.7% chance that I'm going to look down and there's going to be a gnat in it. So I found these a few years ago. Um, I actually found them, they look like fruit lids, but these are better. They go right on top of your, let me scoot this back. They go right on top of your little cocktail or tea, whatever it is that you're having and nothing flies in it. And here's a really great thing about these things. If you push this little do lolly like that, look, I was, I'm, I'm being really brave right now because it's a full mug. It makes a seal. So if you want to put a leftover, let's say you got a little avocado you didn't eat all of, let's say you chopped up a tomato and only you used half of it, you put it in a little bowl and poke this down in there, seals the deal, man. It's a little prissy, got a little, Got a little crystally looking handle on it. Practical, prissy, my favorite. So that's your special extra for soap of the month. Let's move on to salt of the month. Oh, for those of you who have not done this before, salt of the month and soap of the month renew in December of every year. We start in February of every year and we go the whole year long from February to February. Why do we start in February? Cause it's my birthday. February the 3rd is my birthday. So it's the start of my year. It's the start of the soapy year too. That's, I'm kidding. That's a coincidence. It just takes me a little bit of time to gather everything and make a plan and, and, and get rolling. So we start working on it in December, um, get everything laid out, get everything purchased, get everything done in January and we roll it out in February. That's what that is. So clearing salt of the month this month because you know, it's July, it's 90, 11 degrees outside. I know I'm still white as the belly of a fish. And you know, is that, is that laziness or is that skincare? Let's go with skincare. But I am, um, it's hot, it's super hot. So I, I, I did hot stuff <laughs> for this month, hot stuff is all about attraction. Now we've been through a ton of stuff in this whole, um, the, the last, gosh, well, let's just say in 2020. 2020 has been a poo sandwich for, uh, for a lot of people. So um, a lot of people lost jobs. A lot of people are lagging in business. Um, a lot of people just need a little something to hang on to. Hot stuff is all about attraction. And it doesn't have to be, I'm trying to find love or I'm trying to find somebody to scratch my back. You know, it's not, it's not that, it doesn't have to be that. It is all about attraction. Um, the scent of this is Neroli, patchouli, rose, and orange. There's also um, a tiny little bit of sandalwood in here, but I don't put it on there. But I, you know, sometimes patchouli is a good bottom, but you know, Santa was a nice round bottom. We all love that. Um, but there's a bentonite clay in here, vitamin E, cocoa butter, so, uh, sea salt, Epsom salt. Um, I do, I make this in the 
in a new moon because a new moon is when we want to bring things in and um, I do energy work on them during that time. And inside of here, and I keep forgetting to say this. I don't know why I keep forgetting to say this. Inside of here are crystals. So there will be red tiger eye in here, which is like a, a all about creativity and passion. Uh, there is a lodestone, which is all about attraction. And there's a quartz crystal, quartz point in here to kind of act like a battery pack for everything, to jazz everything up. So those crystals are in here. So when you're dumping them out in your tub, you know, strain your drain so you can keep them and you can you use them, put them in a little pouch, carry them around with you, do whatever you want. But every package comes with crystals. Now you might have noticed this month that you didn't get Archangel cards. It's because the Archangels that we call um, for hot stuff are Jophiel and Shamuel. And we already have those Archangels. So it was a little bit of a break for me. And you should already have them. They should be laminated. You can take them in your tubby wubby and not worry about them getting messed up. So that's, that's your bath salt. Oh my gosh. It's like a tennis court in here with these shoes. I have, I have flats on. I don't even have tennis shoes on. What the heck? So what's your special extra? Well, you're going to say, what the heck did I get? I got Play-Doh, a little bitty Play-Doh. And if you got black Play-Doh and you're going, oh my God, I got demon Play-Doh. Stop that right now. They give these out. Play-Doh makes these for trick or treats. <laughs> so kids don't have to get candy, but they're perfect for what we're going to use them for. So um, we got Play-Doh and you got a little piece of paper with an actual straight pin in it. And I did all this so you wouldn't jab yourselves. But here is the straight pin looking like that, straight pin. You got three pieces of origami paper. Okay, you're not gonna use all three. You're gonna pick the one that you like the best and you're gonna use that. We're gonna make an energy wheel. What's an energy wheel? It is an exercise to help you understand how you affect energy and how you move energy and how you manipulate energy. I've said this a bunch of times before, but the secret, I think that, that there are three things that you need to understand for psychic development. And one, one important one is, is to know how to manipulate and know and understand how energy works. Okay, so this little exercise is going to show you how well you do that. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take our Play-Doh out and I'm going to, I'm going to get my head out of here. So, childhood. Um, we're going to pull this out. You can leave it in there, but really pull it out is better. You don't, you don't need all of it. Okay, you're going to roll it in a ball. You're gonna put it on the table and you're gonna mash it. And then you're gonna pinch it so that it kinda looks like that. See what I'm saying? It doesn't have to be beautiful. Look, it's like a boulder of Play-Doh. Just like that, so it's kinda, kinda like a square on the bottom, maybe a little bit. And then you're gonna take this pin, okay? Tied up in. You're gonna put the ball, the ball, the, the ball end inside the Play-Doh. Just shove it down in there, not all the way. Leave a good amount of it out. I don't know if you can see that. So you can, you can leave a bunch of it out and then you're gonna mash this together. We're just trying to make a stand for this pin to stay up on. We do want the pin to be straight up and down, okay? Ta-da. Now, you're gonna pick your favorite one of these papers and to me, this one makes me happy today. Now I already pre-folded these so we don't have any misunderstandings. So you fold it this way and then you unfold it and follow the directions on the lines. We're going to fold it this way, crease it. And then when you unfold it, you have something that looks very similar to a cafe umbrella. Okay? That cafe umbrella is going to is going to dangle right here on this pin just like that. Okay? Okay, so we went to move the camera so we could get down um, on this shot and um, 
for whatever reason the camera didn't like it and the battery went poop and we had to do this another day. I think that we have have ghosts in this, I know we do, um, in this space. I hear them all the time. I see them a lot. Um, I see, when I work in the kitchen, I'll see somebody pass the window all the time. So if you don't, if you don't know anything about dealing with ghosts, they are hard on batteries. So hopefully, hopefully we're gonna be okay today. So we've got two batteries full. So ha ha y'all. All right, so you got your piece of paper. You got your little stand made with your little pen. And you're just gonna take this little cafe umbrella. You're gonna try to make sure that your pen is straight. You're gonna set this right on top. So it balances. Just like that. You're gonna rub your hands together. Get your chakras awake. You're gonna put them on each side. You're not gonna talk on it. And you're just gonna let your energy flow. Just like that. Okay. Why do we do this? We do this so we understand how to manipulate energy and how we affect energy. By doing things like this, we trick our analytical mind. We show our analytical mind that we're a little bit magic, okay? So that's gonna conclude this video. Have fun with this. Um, put this in a little, put this little whole little kit in a little drawer or something somewhere for you and um, pull it out and just practice it randomly, okay? You're magic. So, hope you're staying safe, and I hope you're staying happy, um, and I hope that, uh, I hope that life treats you kind, and I hope you have all you have dreamed of. <laughs> but above all this, I wish you love, and that's the truth. Oh, somebody's trying to get me. I love you, Mises to Pieces. Thank you for watching. Um, if you hit the like button, man, I sure would love it. And um, if you would like to become a 140 of my subscribers, <laughs> solid. Um, thanks again. Sorry I'm late with this. Uh, we'll do better next. We'll do better next month. So, um, loving me, sister pieces. Thanks again for watching. Like, subscribe. You can hit that notification bell. It won't kill you. It's free. All oh, that's free. Talk to you soon. Bye.